the last record architect was um, in comparison a much poorer record than this one and I think that it could have been special if I had stopped drinking stopped partying and given more time to writing and more time to studio and said I need more time basically but um, I was feeling I had too much life to live and yeah but all of my other work, apart from that record, I think, has been very much a, a deep love. Uh, it's taken its time. Um, we've had very open ears for it. We've been very lucky that we could experiment completely. And uh, yeah, so it's just been a, a, a kind of a, a progression of enjoyment of what we're doing. And this record is, for me personally, my favorite. Home is all yours. You brought it yourself. What's the reason for your choice? Um, I am very happy working with my team to uh, co-produce or co-arrange. And we work very well. We're very close. But um, with Architect, for example, I began to move away and I began to uh, waste time in the studio because I wanted to be alone. And that was a very bad mistake to do. But my management realized that I need to be more on my own and I need to spend some time in one place at one time and just write and record and just basically do it on my own until I need people. Yeah. Um, you are often compared to great artists such as Fiona Apple, Janis Joplin, Annie DiFranco. What do you think about that? That is a fucking, I mean, <laughs> cheers. <laughs> I feel, I do feel very close uh, to Ani DeFranco because I found her music when I was 11. And that was my first time that I went, oh fuck, somebody speak in my language. Then from the age of maybe 20 onwards, I began to fall in love with Björk and uh, Radiohead and uh, Fiona Apple and uh, lots and lots of uh, Vela Kuti. And now I'm crazy about a, an artist called uh, Villagers in Ireland. They're, you love them. Yeah, well, I hope. <laughs> I fucking just adore them. Artists, I mean, it's not just music that inspires me. It's not just, I mean, like people inspire me actually. Yeah, people and life experience inspires me. Yeah. Home is full of life. It's a story with a happy ending and it comes after Architect. Mm -hmm. um, what is still to come? Are there new projects, mm -hmm. new ideas, some new inspiration on the way? I've got seven CDs and I mean over a thousand gigs and I need to experience something different now because if I don't change it, it will never change, you know. And I need to experience new, a new, uh, a new. I need something to inspire me again. So what I've decided to do is uh, produce records for somebody else, and um, I want to play in somebody else's band. Yeah. So that would be my my main goal. Yeah. How do you like your life in Berlin? Is that your home now? Um, all my best friends are there. I've, uh, my goddaughter is there. My, my, my life is there, you know? My best friends. And um, it's such a lovely city. A lot of my family and friends come and visit me because they love the city. So it feels like home from home, yeah. It's really uh, in Neukölln. Ah, Neukölln, yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. It's okay. like uh, really close to Hermannplatz, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is just loud and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, messy. Many gigs, performances, oh, yeah. life. Uh, yes, yeah. it's very beautiful. It is good, yeah. yeah. We live next to Huxley's mm -hmm. venue, which is great, um, and Heimathafen, which mm -hmm. is the two 
top quality venues in the city, I think. So I was like, oh yeah. Wallis, thank you. This ah, my was pleasure. Nice thank chat. you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I made a very drunk post about women last night on Facebook. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks okay. again. Thank you, my Wallis. pleasure. Thank you, you very much. Great. You guys, great. Amazing. Follow us. Okay. Follow us. Yes, I will. Exactly. You're okay. right. You're right. Thank you. Yep.